What's up guys? It's Ricky. This is Ricky Shiano, the show we do daily Christian commentary videos. Remember, I told you that there's a variety of content. What, what, what? There's research. Yeah. So, as you can see in the title, I attended a, a, a prophetology. I am going to let him say it. <laughs> a prophetic school. And I was taught how to steal money from people. Uh, this is this is gonna be epic, as you can see by the title. It's a reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. People are they're just manifesting themselves. I'm not gonna put too much of the video. Welcome back to Propacology, the science of kingdom wealth. I'm grateful to be in this class. Continue. DVD number two. Today we're gonna begin to talk about. The prosperity gospel is dead. Whoa. Basically, he starts by explaining that, you know, you don't want to be preaching prosperity gospel because prosperity gospel, it's completely dead. People want something else fresh. You know, people want something new. So he's about to tell us what is new. To pass the prosperity me this. In prophetology, I'm trying to teach you the science of kingdom wealth. For you to use your gift of prophecy to earn a living. But for you to make money as a prophet, you must remove yourself from the prosperity gospel. You should never teach on the prosperity gospel ever again. Okay, this idea of give money, you'll prosper. Okay. Now, let me talk about in secret number one. If you ask your customer for a tithe to sow a seed or make a thousand dollar financial vow, you will cause your client emotional pain. You have to realize this, that the clients that you're dealing with today have given to these ministries in the past. Client. <laughs> we are clients now. Oh, okay. It did not work. Mm. They gave a $500 seed. They gave a thousand dollar seed for God to give them the house. They never got the house for a piece of property. It never manifested. This is cause pain. So if you begin to start preaching on the prosperity gospel, you're going to realize that your customer does not want to give into your ministry. Custom. <laughs> we, we are customers. Hey, Makodo. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, a, hey, hey. I'm a I? They see us as customers. And I want to make this very clear that if you're a working prophet, it is really proficient that you learn how to build economics. But if you're pushing your customer to give you something by sowing a thousand dollar seed and reminding them of the prosperity gospel is going to cause them pain where they do not want to give into your ministry. Secret number two, as a working prophet, ask for money only when you prophesy and you hit the bullseye. So only ask man when you strike it hard. This is what they're learning. Prophet the way you begin to move yourself from the prosperity gospel is you begin to prophesy your way to wealth. Tell people secrets. If you notice that every time I prophesied and I hit the bullseye and I tell a person a secret. This is why they fake prophecies. Hey. <laughs> and they begin to laugh they begin to joke they begin to cry immediately i turn it into money Ooh, I have to paint it. Hey! <laughs> this is the way you prophesy in this in this century if you're going to prophesy your way to wealth you have to hit the bullseye you have to be able to conjure up an emotion. Um, the person crying. It's not about the truth. It just cause them to cry. Like, cause, say something deep. So go find something. Prophet lie. That way, hey. An ability that moves the person to give into your ministry. This is the only way it's going to actually work. Guys, this is called prophetology. Okay, I'm going to put the, the term... I didn't know about prophet college. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Uh, even when we were doing theology, I never heard about prophet college. It's a thing. It's a teaching that they have down there that they are teaching each other. So prophets are learning these things and they are coming to us and seeing us as customers. And they are here busy. Hey, hey, Makol. 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 <laughs> you are a customer, Makol. 
That's why they are faking prophecies. It's because they have to eat an emotion. You see, until they strike an emotion. You see, you're not going to give money. I, I think you guys can go Google it up and look up. The, <laughs> there is a lot of courses. I saw a lot of courses. But this particular one just uh, strike me as the first one. Because I came across it about two days back by by when I was doing research and stuff like that. By mistake, by the way. And so I'm glad I went back to the research mode again, you know. And so ah, they, they teach each other this thing. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of commentary and I will see you on the later on video. Hey! We are customers. Hey!